हेलो गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली के गान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पोलराइजेशन सो वी आर स्टडिंग पोलराइजेशन इन द लॉसेस ऑफ द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन व्हाई वी आर स्टडिंग इट एज लॉस सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इट इन दिस वीडियो फर्दर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट PMD that is the polarization mode dispersion after that we are going to talk about the PMF the polarization maintenance fiber so we are going to talk about the PMF PMD as well as the polarization so these are all very important topic from the exam point of view and i hope you all are watching this video very carefully so i hope in the previous videos i have talked about the dispersion that you have already seen if not it is highly recommended that you go back watch the videos first and then come to this video so we are going to talk about the pmd as well that is polarization mode dispersion and for that you must understand what is dispersion and i hope you all are watching this video as a playlist only so let's start our discussion with the introduction to the polarization so what is polarization the word polar means it is something which is related to the direction so now we all know whenever we have the transverse electric field or the transverse magnetic field in that case the direction of the propagation of the electric field would be perpendicular to its distribution so you can say this is the direction of the motion right so now this would be the direction of the electric field of the variation of the electric field or of the variation of the magnetic field so the definition of the polarization means it is a property that is applying to the transverse waves i hope as of now you understood what is transverse waves that specifies geometrical orientation of the oscillation so now we have different geometrical orientations for the given transverse wave so now let's suppose this is the direction now this is my orientation that is a geometrical orientation so now this geometrical orientation if it is electric field or the magnetic field it has to be perpendicular to the direction of the propagation so this is the direction of the propagation and this is perpendicular to it but if i see this so again i can say both of them are perpendicular to each other you can see if i rotate it it is becoming perpendicular only so now we can change the orientation so what is it denoting the polarization is specifying the orientation of the oscillation of electric or the magnetic field so now let's suppose this is the direction of the motion the first electric field would be in the this direction that is if this is x direction this would be in the y direction right you can see the arrows i have made the arrows in the plus and the minus y direction right so further i can change the orientation of the wave so orientation of the wave can be in the z direction also so if this is my z direction this would be my changes in the field right or any in between value then y and the z direction is also permitted so now polarization is the phenomena which is specifying in which direction i would be having the changing electric field or the changing magnetic field now this change can be in one direction only that is in plus y and the y, minus y direction only so this is called the one direction polarization so this is my plus y direction this is my minus y direction in any direction only in the one direction i will be having the polarization then it is one angle polarization now i can have the case of the circular polarization also in which i have many different polarization at different angles so i will be having polarization in all of these angles so this is my omnidirectional polarization so in the omnidirectional polarization or the circular polarization i will be having the variation the geometric variation 
will be in all of the directions equally okay so whenever i have the optical fiber transmission we will be having the intensity modulation of the source okay at the some point i will be having a very high intensity of the source and at some point i will be having very less intensity of the source this is called the modulation of the intensity the modulation means i will be having some higher magnitude at some point and the lower magnitude at some point this phenomena can be explained with the topic the fiber birefringence so we are going to talk about this topic in the next video i hope you will be joining me in that where we are going to talk about the modulation of the intensity of the source in a great detail whenever i have the cylindrical fibers it does not maintain polarization for more than few meters and this is the reason we are going to talk about it it is a very prominent effect it is going to produce significant losses why because here you can see we have a higher intensity at one point a lower intensity at another point now what is present at the detector side or receiver side photo detectors are present now photo detector is just based upon the intensity now whenever intensity is zero due to the birefringence phenomena i would be having the zero output detection but what had the input which was sent input was sent which was not zero okay so it does mean that we are having some losses incurred whenever i have the birefringence so with the with this uh, phenomena i can say polarization phenomena is acting as a phenomena which is causing the losses inside the optical fiber which has to be reduced so we have to understand it first and this is the reason after understanding it we can use some methods and use some modifications like the polarization maintenance fibers we can use to reduce the effect of the polarization so now we have this optical signal detector as i told you as the receiver side i will be having the photodiodes the photodiodes are insensitive to the optical polarization or the phase it just depends upon the intensity so photo detector as i have wrote here also it is only intensity dependent it does not depend upon the phase and this is the reason we are having various losses which are caused so some system and application will maintain polarization state of the input light over significant distance by we can change the material we can change the refractive index of the core the refractive index of the cladding or we can change the radius of the optical fiber so these three things we can do we can change and with the help of these three things i can change the polarization effect inside the optical fiber so there would be the phenomena of birefringence as well in and in the single mode fibers only the effect of polarization birefringence or fiber birefringence phenomena would be observed so now coming to the pmd pmd is called the polarization mode dispersion we have studied about the dispersion effect now we know what is dispersion dispersion means the broadening of the light pulse right so whenever light wave is traveling so let's suppose i have a torch over here now when the torch is sending the light it is going to get broadened out this phenomena is called the dispersion phenomena now with the help of polarization also the dispersion phenomena would be observed which is called the polarization mode dispersion right so pmd is the polarization mode dispersion and here as in the case of dispersion i will be having the pulse broadening due to the fiber birefringence and i hope you are catching me in the next video very soon pmd is a limiting factor for communication at a high transmission rate so whenever i want to work on now high transmission rate or a high data rate so high data rate is the requirement of the future i want to work on a high data rate but there would be some losses high losses that are incurred due to the pmd 
whenever i increase the data rate pmd would be increased which means the pulse broadening would be increased and which means the errors would be increased so it is a random effect due to both intrinsic as well as extrinsic factors we are going to talk about both of them what are the intrinsic factor what are the extrinsic factors which are going to cause the pmd which results into the group velocity variation and this is a very important topic so whenever we have the intrinsic or the extrinsic factors which are playing coming into the picture so we will be having change in the group velocity and whenever we have the change into the group velocity we will be having the effect of polarization dispersion so we will be having the pulse broadening which is going to cause the errors i hope you remember how with the help of pulse broadening i was inducing some errors and due to which i cannot increase the data rate or the speed of the transmission to a very high value which means our data communication or data transmission would be slowed down due to the polarization effect what are the intrinsic factor intrinsic factors are the factor which are inherent to the optical fiber like the geometry of the optical fiber and the residual stress inside the core itself we are not giving some outside stress in from the core but we are having some stress which is there inside the core itself which is the residual stress inside the core now coming to the extrinsic factors what are the extrinsic factors the factor like the bending twisting or the loading of the fiber i hope you remember what is loading loading means if i have the fiber this is the wall i have to put the fiber over here and due to which i have to load it over here with the help of some support this is the uh, thing which is called the loading of the fiber and when we are loading the fiber on the wall with the help of some support here we will be having some very high stress due to which i will be having the extrinsic parameter of the polarization so now here we are going to see how with the help of both of them we have the polarization induced polarization means i have changed in the orientation of the changing electric field or the magnetic field so this would be my first orientation in which i have the signal variation in the y direction and the minus y direction and this is my second orientation in which the signal is varying in the z and minus z direction so this mode is the fastest mode and this mode is the slowest mode when i am talking about the optical fiber and this is the delay okay so this delta tau is my delay which is present or i can say it is the group delay which is present so now coming to the differential group group delay what is the differential group delay differential group delay is computed from the group delay itself so differential group delay is calculated as del of tau g which is equal to del of tau that is group delay divided by l so differential group delay can be represented as del of tau upon l or group delay can be represented as del tau g into l so del tau g would be del tau upon l which i can represent as d upon dw beta x minus beta y i have explained this in the next video so for the detailed explanation you can go to the next video which is equal to d upon d omega omega upon c delta n effective so what is delta n effective it would be nx minus ny so now coming to the differential group delay depends upon the pmd of the fiber and it is going to calculate what kind of pmd would be there inside the fiber what are the units units are the picosecond per kilometer now whenever i have the differential group delay to be 1 nanosecond per kilometer it is a very high value and this is how you can compute the differential group delay so when i say differential group delay is in nanosecond per kilometer it is very high value and it has to be avoided for that you have to use the pmf the polarization maintenance fiber so the polarization maintenance fiber are very important pmd when it is directly proportional to the length of the fiber it is when i have the uniform birefringence so in that case when i have uniform birefringence i will be having pmd directly proportional to the length of the fiber or when it is given that the pmd is directly proportional to the length of the fiber i can conclude that in that fiber i will be having the uniform birefringence and i will be having non linear during the long fiber span so whenever i have long fiber spans the pmd becomes 
non-linear. So now coming to the PMF, polarization maintenance fiber. So interference and delay are caused when the coherent light signal I have used and it is superimposed on the field of the local oscillators, right? So I am using the photo detector at the receiver and it is going to detect the intensity only and whenever the birefringence is there it is going to cause some losses it is going to cause some errors and i am going to classify the pm fibers now pm fiber is the polarization maintenance fibers i am going to classify them at high birefringence fibers and low birefringence fibers broadly so HB fibers and LB fibers broadly. In LB fibers, I have geometry dependent fiber and the stress affected fibers. And in HB fiber, I have single polarization as well as double polarization fibers. So now a very important fiber that is used recently in the commercial purposes is the Panda. Okay, so Panda is a polarization maintaining and absorption reducing fiber right so it is mostly used these days right so now geometric effect is when it is weak we will be having the large delta n so the difference between n1 and n2 would be very large in hb and now whenever i have the elliptical core and if i increase the doping inside the elliptical core the losses would be very high in the hb only now if i have hb we will be having here two distinguished regions this thing you have to remember how you can distinguish hb from lb in the hb i will be having two distinguished stress regions now in the lb if i want to compensate the losses i will be using the mcvd process if it is a chemical vapor deposition process with the help of mcvd or the molecular cvd i am going to make the LB fibers to avoid the loss during twisting and the bending. So due to the external effects when I will be having the losses, I will be reducing it with the help of MCVD made fibers. I hope you understood each and everything that I have discussed in this video. So if you have any further doubt, you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, give me your feedback, share it with your friends. Thank you so much.